All right, Tobias Gall, Heather Bivens, Mick Elmo, Jay Gamer, 598W, Rotor Self Winding, Obsessive Gamer, thank you for the sub, Lou Nesta, Logan Hunter, and Logan's Lawn Care, Jeff Blankenship, nice. Ready to fire this thing up. Oh, yeah. Logging into the server now. Pradeep Kumar. Yuri LaRogue, Ashley Caitlin, Bilal, here we go. Yeah. All right. Let's fade it out. Fade it out like a bad movie. Zoltazad. Six Burger. Oh, that's a DJ fade right there. That's what that was. <laughs> Missed my calling. All right. And boom. There we are, folks. There we are. This is where we're going to spend uh, most of our time on this evening's stream. Working on a new build. New build. I don't know if I'm going to dig all this out or not. I think I'm going to have to. I think I might have made this thing a little too big. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five would be the... Maybe I didn't make it big enough. Maybe I didn't make it big enough. Steven Lewis, what's up? Daryl Cowan. Cassette Man. What up? So, got to figure out how I'm going to do this thing. kind of wanted it to be five wide. Of course, that just means more can pile in one funnel at one time. Hey there, lady. Hey, gal, what you doing over there? Are you being nosy? Are you inspecting my building? Boom! Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at that. I've been doing a little PvP the past month or so. You know, I'm getting, getting my aim down a little better. All right, so um, I honestly think this needs to be a couple more wide. Let's see what kind of rebar we brought over here with us. Remember, we brought ourselves some food and agua. A new ah, subscriber. Samir! Thank you for subscribing, Samir. You, my friend, are the uh, first subscriber of the day. Don't have anything to give you, but I'll give you one of those. Yeah. All right. Get things fired up for the evening. So if this is going to be the, the tunnel, well, the wall would need to be there. Two, three, four. Ah, that's an even number, though. Ugh. I don't like that. Oh, my... Goodness, Wondering Horde. Wondering Horde. Get them all piled up. Oh, yes. Have them jumping for joy early in the stream. 
Oh, I missed him. That was a dud. Hey, I'm going this way, fellas. This way. This way. Right there. Big mama jumping for joy. A new oh, I missed it. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. We're uh, we're laying down the foundation a for a new, new build. Oh my goodness, Savio! Big money, big money. He's got that big money, y'all. Yeah. Uh. All right. Uh. Crazy people clicking on that button. Thank you. So we got to figure out exactly how we want to do this thing. If I want to make it five wide, which would be kind of wide, it might be two wide. We might only want it to be three wide. It doesn't give us much room to play around with, though, if we did that. So if that's the case, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, then the wall would have to be there and here. So it would have to be seven. And then I'm going to need at least... Let's see, one there for electric fence, a walkway. Oh, don't you do that. Why didn't the stone hold it up? JFK, what's up? Why's my little man Cole SCS Wes? Welcome back. So at least we got it started the other night. Now, you know, one kind of drag about this is that I'm going to have to do a lot of digging. Hopefully, underneath where we're at, going to be a lot of resources. You know, going to be a lot of resources to uh, to be had down there. So that would give us a walkway and electric fence. There's a cowboy over there. See that cowboy? What is he doing? Is he going to come this way? Oh my goodness! Ah, my huge jelly junkie for the little money. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. Well, I hear a feral white. Oh. Is that him? Oh, that was a bad shot. First bad shot of the day, folks. Oh, he's down. Can we get him again? Oh, he's coming. He's an angry, feral white. Let's play chicken! Chicken! Oh! Are you really gonna run around in a circle like that? Is he gonna ever break that circle? Is he gonna forever perpetually spin oh he's so tough he's so tough don't you infect me or make me bleed hey over here buddy all right now that all those are cleared out we can uh, do what we were doing robert briggs how many times have i died in this world well believe it or not robert with this always run series, I, I survived the first two weeks, which should have been the most difficult, right? But uh, I died a good many times building the base, the last base, because the, uh, the wandering hordes and screamer hordes would just come running up on me while I was out there building and had nowhere to get to, nowhere to go. Uh, I have died. How do, where do you see that again? I have died 10 times in the uh, 150 days, and like eight of those deaths were all right together where I was uh, just being bombarded. Haven't died to a, a horde, a seven-day horde yet, uh, only to wandering hordes, bear hordes, dog hordes, that type of thing, while I was out there building that last base. So probably going to face that again now, but I'm a little more equipped this time around. A little more equipped this time around. Uh, Jacob, what's up? I missed it. We're all doing well. How are you? All right. So, I guess this is how it's going to be. We're going to probably need one more wide over here, though, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need one more. 
for a wall. One more for a wall. So this is just going to kind of be a chill, laid-back stream this evening. Uh, I got to get this thing built. You know, we're... Uh, so that's four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep talking about it. And I'm glad we finally got it laid out. Now we have to get it all put together. What's up, Draco? Robin T. I'm just Brian. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to do the same thing over here. Two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that'll come down like this, like that, like this, and like that, y'all. Yeah, I didn't release a Let's Play today. I figured I'd just. Usually this is about the time I publish my Let's Play, so I figured, hey, we'll just do a stream series today instead. How about that? <clears throat> yeah, same here. Same here, Robert. Same thing going on here. Of course, I think when we started this, though, we started out with the maybe Notch Below Insane or something like that before we bumped it up. Or maybe we even started two notches below insane, and after the first week we decided, ah, it's pretty easy, and we're just going to go ahead and bump it up. I forgot when we did that, but it was kind of early on. Not much of a difference between, um, you know, the different, different difficulties. So we have four there. Make sure and count this out. Four there. Four there. Four there. Zombie Flanders, Mr. Paul Groves. Hi, Diddly Hell, Survivorinos. One, two, three. Zombie Flanders, I'm starting to think that you're uh, you're someone affiliated with the channel here, a mod or something. And you just come in just to say, Hi, Diddly Ho, Survivorinos. And then you go on your regular account. Because you don't ever say anything. I don't ever see you say anything. I mean, I don't mind lurkers. I love lurkers, but you always say what you say and then I never hear anything else out of you Matt Molden from Brazil uh, Obrigado <laughs> Thank you for joining and welcome Well McElmo uh, this stream series has all been documented since day one and there is a uh, stream series playlist. Now, it kind of started out looking bad because I was streaming in 720 back then. It was before I got the new uh, internet connection here. And uh, But anyway, it's all been documented. So if you want to go back and see how I started out, see what I did, it's all there for your viewing pleasure. I hope I'm doing this right. I mean, I guess there's no wrong, but... Um, kind of have an idea of the direction I want to go in. Yeah, we'll just kind of do it like we did the last base. You know, just kind of come together piece by piece. Come together right now. Heather Bivens, how are you doing, ma'am? I have not... I said hello to you, I think, but I have not asked you how you were doing. Well, if you're going to watch that entire stream series, it's going to take you more than a weekend. Because <laughs> there's like... There's like 50 episodes, and some of those episodes are seven hours long. So, uh, that's like a, that's like a full season of a show or something. Man, I can't, I can't even get through Black Sails. Mrs. Spartan and I are trying to get through that, and it's only four seasons of like ten episodes, and the first one was eight. We're not anywhere close to finishing the, we just started the third season. We've been watching that for like two months. We can't get through it. Not enough time in the day. Not enough time in the day. So, uh, if that works out there, then I could put the barbed wire here. We'd have to span. We could span that across. Yeah, I'm doing well, Heather. <clears throat> Actually, got actual golden rod tea yesterday. My body feels cleared. <laughs> I bet so. That's what it does to you. Yeah, that's what it does. Flush out the old uh, bladder. 
Helen Horn, hello. I almost missed you, Helen Horn. Let me scroll back up and chat. Did I miss you? New Hickory, hello. You got to say at Grand Spartan. Or I don't see it. You know, it's going to slip me, it's going to pass me by. <clears throat> no, uh, just Brian always run is on the stream series, the Let's Play. Because I play on the same server, it shares Jacob Constanzo. Constanzo. I did say that, right? Costanzo. That's how you say it. Um, because I share the same files. Derek Reese, what's up? Brother. Sometimes I forget to go into the config and change that two to zero when you I go. Ah, Miguelmo! A Spartan. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. Uh, but I forget to change the settings, and uh, this time I did not. So, I could do one or two things. I I'll go ahead and share with you what I was going to do. Now, I think before, we did a pit around the outside here, right? Did a little pit out here, a little pit. And uh, that funneled them into here. But this time, I'm thinking about digging out these four squares on the outside, that way, the only thing that stands in the middle is our base. That's the only thing. So they have no choice but to go up into the funnel to get to us or fall into the pit. Now, I will have to most likely defend this pit with some turrets because we are going to have a couple spill over into it. Oh! Yeah, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get a red and a go cat go, but don't you. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis did not die. He moved to Australia, and there he is. Elvis is in the building. Yeah. Ah, uh, Luca. What up? All right. Well, hopefully that uh, the new shapes of the rebar and all that stuff, they'll release to us eventually on vanilla here. We'll get it. We'll get it. Be patient. I'm patient. There's not enough time in the day just to use the blocks that they give us. I mean, we could go on for like two years and never come up with all the kind of designs we could use with these traps and such. So, um, but make sure real quick before I start digging things out. Boy, this is going to be tricky. This is where we're going to die right here because I'm going to be digging a trench and the zombie's going to be falling in on me when we get a horde, wandering horde. Hey, someone do the math for me. When's the, uh, when's the next uh, horde? Well, we had one on 140, right? And then 147? We still got a few days. And we can drive around to the trader at some point, too. I don't know what I need. I'm uh, probably going to need some engines. <clears throat> well, I don't really know if this is the way I want to do it or not. But if I don't do something, I'm just going to stand there and think and plan for the next six hours. So, um, Elvis did not die. Am I out of gas? Where's my little place? There's my little place. A little happy place. Douglas Eady. Or Douglas Eddy. Hello. Feels so weird walking around with this auger in my hand like that. Yeah, he might have flushed himself down to uh, Australia. What happened? He got sucked down and popped out on the other side of the world. And there he is. There he is. Well, you know what? First things first here. Let me get some wood. We need to, we need to be able to make some ladders. We need concrete. I'm just, I'm starting to dig and talk and I'm not even planning this thing out properly. I'm going to get trapped down at bedrock so what's going to happen to us. Uh, get a couple of those. Uh, let's take half of the wood. I don't think we'll need all the wood. Nice, thank you. 3.30, what's up? Trade a refresh at 151. All right, so if that's our hallway going down here. All right, this, I hope it's right. I hope it's right, because I'm about to do this. I don't care. Grand Spartan don't care like the honey badger. I gotta do this to give me an idea of uh, 
what it is and where it is we're going to be kind of building to. Uh-huh. And that gives us a five in the center, and I like that. Really big comical nose that bobs around when you walk. All right. Uh, just Brian, I've been uh, building bases and stuff for years. Uh, it was a buddy of mine who's like, hey, you ought to upload some of these to YouTube. I was like, ah, nobody's going to watch that garbage. And then the first video I uploaded got like 50,000 views. I was like, ah, maybe some people will watch it, you know, and, and it kind of branched off from there. I didn't really upload seriously until about a year ago. But, uh, you know, now I have all of you beautiful people watching regularly. So, um... And if that's where it will end, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm just giving myself more content to cover here by putting it down in the wrong place and making it solid concrete. And then we get to stand around for 15 minutes while I auger it all up. That just adds to the time of my stream. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing here. All right. Well, that looks right. Jam up and jelly tight. Well, welcome back, obsessive gamer. Are you really obsessed? And are you, are you a gamer? Ah, uh, so I was pretty excited last night. Uh, Mini Spartan and I are playing a little bit of Rust. We play on a 10 time server and a 5 time server because I just don't have time to invest into vanilla. And it looks so painful. Uh, but, so we just recently joined a five-time server. We had a ton of resources and a nice little base. Spent more time than I should building that silly thing. Jumped on this morning before I got everything fired up for the day. Base had been destroyed. Base had been destroyed. Aww. Yeah, we lost everything. We lost everything. So, uh, Mini Spartan got home from school today, and I wasn't even going to jump back on there again. I was done with it, right? And he's like, you got to hop on here quick. I was like, what? He's like, I dropped one airdrop, got some uh, satchel charges, blew the door off of a base, and I took it over from this guy. I was like, what? Sure enough, he took over this big, giant base from this dude because he only had one door on the front, and he blew in. <laughs> and authorized himself. So now we have a new base and we have a lot of resources. So he's down there guarding that right now while I'm streaming. Build him a little watchtower, a little lookout tower so he can fight the people off if they're coming in while I'm not on. <laughs> you might hear in a little while, raid! We might have to flip over to some rust while I defend a raid on our base. Salvage the last little bit of resources we have. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um... Carlos Garcia. Hello, you beautiful person. You beautiful man. Yeah, I did too, McElmo. I went to bed in a mansion and woke up naked and afraid like the TV show. It's like, wait, wait, why? <laughs> ah, so painful. But thanks to Mini Spartan and the uh, heads up move there, he got back our base. Ariac, what's up? The doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case for loving you. Yep, I do. All right, well, that's kind of laid out now, so I have an idea of where what is going to be. That's there. I'm counting them out. Make sure. You know how I like to count 15 times before I do something. So that is that. Uh... I wonder. I wonder, wonder. If I should dig these center places out or dig a pit. What do you guys think? And gals. So I was going to dig that square on all four sides out like a free fall pit. Just a deterrent. It's not going to be a defense as much as it is a deterrent. So they're going to run around that and come into the funnel. Or... I can do what we did on our last uh, funnel system and put a trench that's too wide. Boom, boom. 
or even three, all the way around the outside and just leave that in there. I don't know what we'll do with it. It'll just kind of be wasted space, I guess. Um, what do you think? I, I guess I'll stick to my guns on the uh, center pit because I think that would look the best. I think it would give it a unique kind of look seeing this base just kind of sitting up in the air out here. I don't know. Nagnina Shoba. Deleting messages. My goodness. Look at that. Just like that, too. No OCE tonight. Don't know where OCE is. Might be out with the family or something. Uh, that's going to be a lot of digging, folks. But like I said, so I got that laid out. Uh, this would be our base here. You know what I mean? This would be our bunker or our uh, compound, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Shoot. And I need to get a center spot. I need to dig down here and build back up with rebar. All right, so if I'm facing, what way do I want to face here? I guess it doesn't matter which way is our main focal point. Maybe that way. Maybe that way. So that is to the south. So if I'm facing to the south, I'm going to want to dig this out all the way down and all the way around. You know what I mean? Make sure I have wood. I have wood. I have more rebar. I have some concrete to upgrade. I'm trying to think of what the best way would be to do this, honestly. Uh, probably the way I'm doing it, I guess. gonna take a little while to do it this way but remember too we are getting four directions uh well technically five directions we're getting straight down below us and then uh four around but yeah uh so on the rust server the uh the 10 time server i'm still golden there people don't want to mess with me on the 10 time time server as much because you know, I built up a little bit more, but that five-time server, we just got started. And it's so painful to collect all that stuff and then watch it just go away. One raid, all gone. Of course, I say that. My ten-time server base is probably gone now, too, because I've not been on there today, but, like, once. Just to, just to check it. Ah, Derek, Derek Hancock, thank you for subscribing, and welcome to the stream. And this is going to get a little confusing here as I go down. Uh, I was facing to the south was the direction that I wanted to build up towards. So I put the I put the ladder on the south side. They did fix the hitbox on the ladder on Alpha 16, didn't they? Didn't they fix that? I don't know. I don't know if they did or not. Hey, did you all hear about the uh, serial killer that had the roadside barbecue stand? And I don't know how many people he ended up killing, but he was serving those people at his barbecue, his roadside barbecue stand. So moral of the story is, folks, you see a little roadside barbecue stand, might want to think twice about what you're eating or who you may be eating. That was crazy. Crazy. He was a big 500 pound guy and uh, serial killer. And the only reason they caught him is because he had a buddy of his help him. What's my elevation here? Minus 15. But we have a long way to go. Mm, this is going to be painful. Very painful. Let me catch up with your chat. Bobby Fong. What up? War Duck. War Duck, I really only play vanilla. I mean, mine's a little modded. We call it the Spartan mod if you want to. The hordes are modded. Things like that, but, uh, you know, everything else is vanilla. I tell you what, uh, let me make sure I'm in the center and just... I hope I'm in the center. I guess it doesn't matter. We need, we need to dig it all out anyway. There's bedrock. 
Uh, so we're facing to the south. So the south is where the rebar is going to go. We'll put one here. One there. Oh, you bump your head on that. Whoops. I keep thinking I'm going to pop up when I hit uh, control and let go of it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move my rebar. Right there. That way I don't have as far to uh, reach. Yeah, we need to get uh, this done first. Before we do any digging, we have to have a way to get out, right? We can't build our way up every single time we dig a, a trench uh, down to bedrock, so... Uh, this is going to be the place where we go down and come up anyway, so might as well do this first, get this done first. We're going to have enough stone and sand to, uh, or stone and iron to, to build this base once we're done digging all this out. My right, goodness. Hey, tell me if the uh, sound is too loud or not loud enough or whatever. I didn't really do any adjusting tonight. Uh, let's see here. Let me catch up with your chat again and make sure I did not miss. Well, welcome back, Lunesta. Yeah, Ross... Uh, Authorus, what up? Uh, I will be. I will be uh, doing that. I'll be collapsing the center. I'm not going to dig out that whole center. I'm going to dig around the edge, and then we're going to collapse the center. East Rust Gaming, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, if you play Rust, I am on a server called uh, East Rust Gaming, and that's the gentleman right there that hosts that server. Good stuff. 10 times server. He has a 5,000 times server, a little battlefield server going on. And uh, I highly encourage you checking it out. If you play Rust, that's where to be and what to see right there. All right, so we can take that out. How you doing, Crack a Jack? Eh, we have one little predicament right here, though. And we dug down a little bit. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and kind of upgrade. Let's make some ladders. Let's go ahead and make some ladders. A wooden ladder by, say, 100. We're going to need a hundred of those suckers. Put this here, put that there. Uh, facing to the south, so all is well there. Ooh, it's raining outside, folks. If, uh, if my stream goes down, I may not be back. We have some really severe thunderstorms coming through here. You know, we had that cold weather last week, and it's been 80 degrees the past couple days. So uh, they said we're going to have lightning and uh, heavy winds and rain and all of that stuff. And I can just hear it pounding down on the house right now. So uh, if I disappear, you will know what happened to me. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to. Oh. I thought I was going to die. Woo -hoo -hoo. Close. Close one. Close one. Almost got the old Grand Spartan. Almost. Uh, that's like almost being pregnant, you know. Guess we'll go ahead and heal just in case. <laughs> just in case. You want my number? Uh, I can't just hand out my number to any and everybody, you know. Um, Big D Gaming. What up? Boogle Woogle. Boogle Woogle. It's like Boogie Woogie, but Boogle Woogle. All right, let's try not to have that happen again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die on this thing is what I'm going to do. This is bad planning. This is poor planning here. I'm doing too much talking and not enough thinking. 
as what's happening here. Now, hopefully they fixed the uh, the ladder issue where you used to... The hitbox was as big as the, the solid, the whole block, you know, and I try to... Uh, ooh, I almost fell right there. I try to auger around it, and you can't because uh, it counts it as a whole block. Oh my goodness! Wee! We just took an express trip to the bottom, folks. <laughs> well, that's one way to get down. That's one way to do it. In case you didn't know, uh, you know, that's one quick way to get down to the bottom right there. And I surely have a broken leg now. I can almost guarantee it. It, it is certainly broken. If it wasn't broken before, it's broken now. But, you know, I did all of that free fall pit digging on Alpha 15. Have not really done that on Alpha 16. You know, we used to have the issue with me breaking my leg all the time. And there's GW Tonkin coming in with a dollar. Hey, bales are your friend. Yeah, you're right, sir. You are right. They are my friend. But we have none right now. I guess I can make one. I uh, shouldn't need it now. You know, the fall is over. Worst thing could happen right now is we get a wandering horde to come through here and they come down this hole where I'm at. And that's going to be bad. That's going to be real bad. It's coming. It's coming any time now. I'm expecting that wandering horde to arrive. Yeah, I guess I could. But, you know, what's the fun in that? What's the fun in making a hay bale and knowing you're going to be safe when you fall? You just have to be careful, right? You just have to be careful. OSHA is not out here to approve this this building site. You know? This is Grand Spartan approved. Alright, so. Uh, now. I need to fill all this in with rebar going down. But I'm going to build my way back up. Uh, but we need to take out the sides and the back. The sides and the back. do 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 Dude, dude, dude. I wonder if I could ride that down. You know what I mean? Like ride it down? Because I can't fall now because there's a ladder there. If I fall down the hole, well, the ladder's going to catch me. Know what I mean? You following me? Look at that. Whoop. Right on down. Right on down to the other side. Jay Sullivan. Yeah, the fall damage on this game is pretty low. I mean, so you break your leg. I mean, it's not really some huge threat to uh, to, to fall on this game. I mean, Old Crow used to find it like a sport to find a, the highest mountain on the game and jump off of it with his mini bike, see if he could survive. Most times he did, so. Yeah, you may be right there. If I would have fallen like that on any other game, I would have been a neat spot on the bottom of the ladder there. Uh, well, outside of rust right now, not really. Not really. Just had a little kind of conversation with someone the other day talking about Ark and the building on it. And not a fan of the whole dinosaur thing. Uh, not really my thing. But uh, outside of that, no. I mean, I gave, I gave Subnautica a go. I tried it. Uh, it just wasn't my thing, you know? wasn't my thing. wasn't getting any views. I enjoyed it a little while I played it, but didn't get a whole lot of views on that. So I had to, uh, I had to call it. It wasn't worth the uh, hour of time per day that I was putting into it. Uh, to keep documenting and uploading two episodes a day and all of that. Getting like a 300 views or something maximum on a video. Indigo Wolfie, what up? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Crazy Squid! What up? Oh, did I do that wrong? No, 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 no. I see, I see. That's where I dug so I could put the ladder. I dug it. But eh, one thing I got to think about here, though, is I might have to take out, like, uh, these two blocks here. You know what I mean? Maybe even three. Because we're going to have to walk. We're going to have to walk through 
Let's see if I can get up here and jump on top of this. I guess I don't need to. Right now, we're just kind of making ourselves a way out of this place when we dig the free fall pit and collapse that area. A uh, way to get back out. Uh, boy, I haven't caught up with your chat here in a little while. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage. I encourage you to do the same. I'm going to read your chat here for just a second. Ever-loving, you're right. You're right. I'll keep this broken leg for the rest of the stream. I mean, I don't care. Let it heal naturally. Let it heal up crooked. You know, maybe I can use it as a weapon then. Fight off the zombies when it heals up crooked. We're almost to the top. That wasn't so bad. Well, we have one more side to go. We're done. One more side. One more side. Let's go down the ladder. Let's fill that in that I accidentally dug out. I, I dig it. I dug it. Um... Uh, East Rust Gaming, it was almost 80 degrees here today. It probably was 80 degrees here today with the, uh, in the sun. Uh, we're supposed to get, we're getting bad thunderstorms right now. You'll probably be able to hear the thunder here in just a little while. Haven't really gotten much lightning yet, but some bad wind and heavy rain. Uh, but no snow here. Probably no more. We'll probably be in the 80s from here right on through till, uh, spring. When it gets back up into the hundreds. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to leave out. I'm going to leave out the bottom three. We can go all three directions that way. You know what I mean? You follow me there? Because I'm going to dig that out. Going that way, that way, and that way. And we'll have a way to get to each side as we uh, as we do dig this, this free fall pit out. Should be the easiest way to do it. Next thing I got to figure out is how I want to approach the free fall pit. Uh, how I want to do that. Booyah! Uh. Uh, um, dum, dum, dum. I don't need to upgrade this right now. I can come back later and upgrade this. I just need to get this done with the ladder and some safe way to get up and down for when we do. Oh my goodness! TCG. I can mention Art because OCE's in here now to ban me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He is not here. He is not here to ban you, sir. But I'm not very fond of the game. I played it when it first came out. Heck, I rented a server to it. A couple of us played on for about a month when it first came out. It's changed a lot since then, but it's just not my kind of game. Just not my kind of game. So we can upgrade this going around the, the hole right there. The hole. And I got to figure out. Just a taco. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we do. I got to figure out how I want to do this. You think I should just do ring around the rosy and go around in a circle as I talk to you all? And then we can collapse it all? Should we do it that way? You know what I mean? Just keep going around in a circle. And until we get to bedrock. Well, that's going to take a while. Now, I got a 600 blade on this thing, so it chews right through the uh, stone. That won't be an issue. Let's go ahead and dig down in the corner. Yeah, boy, for us to have digging, you know, what a game that would be. If I could dig traps like I can on this game. I was talking to someone about that the other day.
Yeah, feel free to link that up. Uh, someone give East Coast Gaming some privileges up in here. Up in here. Let's make some dirt. Uh, ground. How about forest ground? Run, forest, run! And uh, East Coast, if you want to link your server up, your information to your site or something, feel free to do that, man. Oh, it's Mr. Charles North. What up, Mr. Charles North? Welcome, welcome back. You are now spaced a out gaming. Are you spaced out? And are you a gamer? You're spaced out gaming. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, almost feel like I need to dig these corners out first, but then I have to build my way back up with rebar. I don't really want to have to do that. Oh, there's uh, resources right there. Look at that. Hopefully it's all the way down. Uh, free 67. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I can add him as a moderator. Okay, East Rust Gaming, you're now a moderator for the channel. <laughs> but if you want to link up your site, your, uh... Your site or your servers or something, feel free to do that, man. Feel free to do that, man. To do that. So I gotta remember where we gonna where we're gonna come in at here. What well, is like chewing through butter? Hot butter. Well, warm butter. I guess hot butter's just liquid, huh? But uh Um, well, you can if you want to, but there's only one broken bone now, and I'm not healing that broken bone, so, uh, if you guessed one, you're probably gonna win. Maybe if that thing heals before the end of the stream, then, uh, you can have, you know, you can, you can guess two, but I don't know how long it takes for a broken bone to heal when you don't splint it, but we're gonna find out tonight, because <laughs> I'm not gonna waste a splint to heal it, because I'm just gonna fall again. At some point, you know it's going to happen. And I'm also thinking about having this collapse up. Instead of collapsing it all at one time, maybe doing a little bit of the collapse now and a little bit later. Kind of like my uh, Japanese restaurant food. I eat a little bit now and then a little bit later, save, save some for home. You know what I'm talking about? Hibachi? Oh... Hibachi. I love those places. Hadn't been in a couple months now. Uh, but I love going to those places. That's a good time. Good time, good food. They give you so much food at those places. It's like enough food for an army. And so I eat like half of it there and I take the other half home. Man, I'm getting hungry now. I'm getting hungry now. Mrs. Spartan cooked uh, pork tenderloin tonight. Mmm. I haven't had any of that yet either. Might have to take a food break. I had Chick-fil-A. Does anyone know what that is? Chick-fil-A? Do you have that where you're at? I had Chick-fil-A. Like a late lunch at Chick-fil-A. Ugh. I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, but fast food in general is just not my thing. That was quick fix. Many Spartans wanted, uh, wanted something quick. Have a sick mini Spartan. Picked out what Mrs. Spartan had last week. Remember last week? Uh, was it last weekend? Mrs. Spartan was sick with the flu. Yeah, she passed that on. Hopefully, I don't get it. Put the voodoo hex on me. Um, Jonathan Torres. Nice. Welcome. Oh my goodness, no arc. No, please, no arc. 
If you want to talk rust, we'll talk some rust. There's not much to talk about, but... No arc, please. Yeah, and Survive the Nights. I was really excited about that game. And I watched that dev video right before they released the uh, alpha on Steam. And I was so deterred by watching the uh, dev video. It's like they regressed since I watched the last video like a year ago. I don't know. Hopefully that one will come along. I was looking forward to that one. I was actually going to document that on the channel here. You know, I don't document much outside of seven days, but I was going to document Survive the Nights, and then... Ugh, it's not very complete game currently, so... Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to dig this whole thing out. What we're going to do is when we get to the bottom, we're going to collapse this sucker. We're going to collapse this sucker. Hey, what I might do off stream is I might dig the rest of them out or something. You know what I mean? Like, I might do this on my own time so you don't have to sit here. Of course, it does add content to the channel uh, for the stream. It gives me something to do. And if, we, if I do it all off stream, then I won't have anything to stream. We're going to have to go build another base somewhere else. We'll be all based out before long. There's a zombie up there. There's a wandering horde up there. Oh, boy. You hear that? Alphonse? Alphonse, I live in Sparta. Devil! Seven, 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 seven! Hello and welcome to the channel. Michael, uh, this could be PvP. Uh, it's just me on here. It's just me on here. Not the devil! It's the devil! It's the devil! Um, Mr. ZG2004, hello. Yeah, there are zombies up here beating on something. But anyway, yeah, this can be PvP, but it's just me. This is just a private server that I uh, rent uh, for my stream series and my Let's Play series. Uh, hey, and thank you for all the feedback, too, on the Let's Play series here lately on that base we're working on. It's really coming along. Oh, there's a zombie in here. Hey, zombie lady. My zombie lady. Uh, if you've not seen the old oh, doctor coming in with the five dollars, that bugs me. You didn't dig around the corners on the central ladder. I don't know why that bothers you, doctor. That's a waste. You're wasting. You're wasting uh, time and resources, man. You can't see it. You don't know it. If I didn't show you that step by step, you'd never know that I did not dig that out, my friend. You'd never know it. But thank you. Thank you for the contribution. I appreciate it. But I'm not going to go back and redo it. <laughs> but yeah, that stream or that Let's Play series base is uh, absolutely coming along now. It's starting to look like a uh, proper bunker. Proper compound, I guess I should say, not bunker. Uh, but the lighting and all is, is starting to uh, make it pop. Make it pop. If you've not checked that out, then shame on you. No, if you've not checked it out, um, I posted my last Let's Play I posted was yesterday. And uh, you can, you know, there's, I think we're, what, 106 episodes or something into the Let's Play series? And you have, if, you, if you've seen the base on this stream series, but you've not seen the one on there, then uh, the one on here is uh, garbage compared to that one. I'm going to have to build my way out and drink. I am almost completely out of uh, dehydrated here. Probably hungry, too. Let me finish out this last row. Going around this last ring, and I'm going to have to build up and go drink and eat. Might ride back over to the base and grab some splints. I didn't think about that when I was grabbing resources, but... You know how I am with these free fall pits. I'm going to fall. I'm going to break my leg ten times over, so. All right, so. Let me build my way back up. I'll be building my way back to you, babe. Um... 
Yeah, they added bone arrows and flaming arrows. Yeah, I've used some of those already. Absolutely. New uh, loot chest on there, too. New loot chest. Uh, so, it's over here. Oh, look at me dragging my leg. I can barely run at all. I mean, I'm holding shift right now, folks. I'm holding shift. Well, we can take all this stuff back to the base. I'll leave that there and leave this here in case we want to make some dirt. Leave that there. I'm going to have our machete on us. Just in case we come across an animal of some sort. And I think my golden rod T is in the mini bike. Yes, it is. I have some splints. Look at that. I guess I can heal. I said I wasn't going to because I didn't think I had any, but yeah, I can. So when did you say the, the horde is coming? Is 154? Is that right? 154? Let's go ahead and eat a meat stew. Tasty meat stew. A finger in every bite. And goldenrod tea to wash it down. Tasty to the last drop. All right, I already feel warmer. You know, what am I wearing that's cooling me off? Do I have that poncho on? I don't have a poncho on. I need to, look at that. I'm still wearing plant fiber pants. <laughs> Man, my armor's, bro we're going back to the base, folks. We're going back to the base. Just for a minute, I'm going to grab some more supplies. And we'll come back over here and finish this one pit on this side. Might finish the other three off the stream. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we do two today or something. But we're pretty close to being able to collapse it now. Let's see if we can lag up the server a little bit. Alphonse, uh, my day is going well. Evening, actually. Day went well, though. How is yours going? Yeah, we've already thrown a splint on it now, though, so no need to look at it. Oh, there's a zombie in my way. Get him off. There's a zombie in my way. Get him off. He's going to try to kill me on my little ride here. Do that. No, we still have propeller lights on here, Rotor Self Winding. They're not going away. We might expand on that idea. We might make them bigger and better. Well, you can't pass this, folks. If you pass this, shame on you. Shame on you. There's a bird nest. All right. Well, we're more than halfway back now. No more distractions. No more distractions. You're gonna fly. How are you gonna fly? You have a, you have a private plane or a helicopter. Or... How are you gonna do that? I want to know how you are gonna fly. Let me know how you're going to fly, man. I'm curious now. Gavin. Gavin Warner. Welcome. Eric. Rivest. Yes, I play random gin as well, my friend. That's all I play. Novice gain is good if you're a newcomer to the game. Random gin is the best. Well, we're almost home now. The little bed is getting bigger on the compass up top. BKU Shetty. Happy Friday. That's right. That's right. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well, sir. Oh, this city is so laggy. I oh, see that building right there. It's not really there. Ha, ha, ha. Well, if you're new to the stream of the channel, 
Uh, here's our base. This is what we've been, uh, this is what we started out with. This is what we started out with. And we'll be coming back over here to fight hordes. And don't be deceived by thinking that the base is all broken apart and falling, you know. This is only lost. Look at that. Look at that. I got 100 hit points off of it. And, uh... Or a thousand hit points, and it, you know, it's still good, but it looks that way because of the paint job on it. It looks that way because of the paint job. And we got our happy little zombie killing death robots here with our shotgun turrets installed. Uh, but sometime here in the next day or two, we got to come back over here. I think these are just regular concrete, aren't they? We need to come back over here and uh, touch everything up, uh, make sure our shotgun turrets are loaded and uh, ready for the horde. We have six underneath the belly of our horde defense here. Uh, six turrets and three on the outside, two auto turrets down on the end for the screamers that come up due to our forges running all the time. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to just give you a little look at that if you're new. If you're new to the channel or the stream. Shaka! From Brazil! Nice! From Brazil like old uh, Z Nation. Pretty sure Z Nation's from Brazil. I'm sure you're familiar with his videos. Yeah, he and I, uh, we are, uh, I guess you could say friendly with each other. You know, he plugs my channel and I plug his. Nice guy. Uh, yeah, my Xbox, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here real quick. My Xbox is no more than a giant paperweight. Uh, I don't even use it for Netflix anymore. That's basically all I ever used it for. I don't even use it for that now. Uh, but this is what the base looks like inside and out. You know, nice and shiny, sparkly. Alphons from Sweden. I'm from Sweden. Yeah, I don't have a very good Swedish accent. I apologize if I just butchered that. All right, so that just capped out. We can turn that off. I don't think we need any more. Let me turn that off. And we can make some more cement and get that going. More cement. And more cement. Can't get enough of that stuff. And this is all smelted so we can make more buckshot. Let me check and see how many we have over here. What do we have? Uh, a thousand buckshot. 1381. All right. All right. Well, we can stick our stone in here. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of stone from this, this new build. A little bit of sand, a little bit of, a little bit of iron. Well, I'll tell you what, while we're making that buckshot, why not smelt down some more lead? I don't know where, oh, we just got that from that one pile above the ground, so I'll uh, put our feathers in here. How are we doing at exploding crossbow bowls? Well, we don't even have a stack. That's going to be something I have to do. 292 feathers, we're good there. We have meat stew, we have some goldenrod tea, and this is on, can be turned off, on, can be turned off. We're going to take those with us to do our digging. Uh, goldenrod tea, let's take another stack. We're almost out of that. A new ah, subscriber. Tyrant 80. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. It scared me, made me jump. We're almost, we're completely out of meat, folks. Who's been stealing my meat? Somebody's been coming and grabbing my meat. That's what's been happening. I know how you people are. Especially Lunesta. Alright. Was there anything else I was going to come over here and grab? My generator's out in this room. You, you notice that? There we go. There's our lights. That looks better. Uh, what else was I going to grab while I'm over here? Anything. Was there anything? Maybe a little bit more wood. A couple more frames. I don't know. I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, well, the trader respawned today. The trader respawned. Let's, uh, let's stop by the traders. Why are we going to the traders? What does the trader have that we don't already have 10,000 of? Well... 
Uh, we could use some engines. We could absolutely use some engines. We could sell them that concrete. Eric! What's up, Eric? I have a couple Eric's in here. I got the Eric Bourgeois. Let me map this out real quick. So we can go boom and boom, and then we can go boom, 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 and then we're back to our new build site. That's the way we're going to do it. That's the way we're going to do it right there. We'll just hit those traders up. That'll be good. I will be satisfied. Satisfied. Get some real pants. I don't need pants. You know, it's the apocalypse. Who else is going to be around? I just, you know, walk around in my birthday suit. Maybe a little bit of armor on so I don't get bitten. John the Mutt! John the Mutt! Man, you comment on my videos every day, sir. I appreciate your support. I'll be giving him the thumbs up and the comments and all of that stuff. Yeah, you're right. I uh, wrote itself winding. I, I, oh, there's a wolf. That's meat. Oh, one shot to the face. Give me that meat. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but pants don't really do a whole lot for you. I mean, I don't plan on getting hit. Folks. You all are so concerned about my armor and clothes. Do you know how long it's been broken? And I take the hordes out on the ground running around. I don't die. You don't need that stuff. There's a bunny rabbit. There's a bunny rabbit. Do you see him? I can't chase him because I have a broken leg. That's more meat. Oh, there's a zombie. You are now Eric. a Spartan. Thank you for subscribing, Eric, and welcome to the stream. Oh, look at that, folks. All right, look at this. All right, are you happy now? I have some, some better pants on. Look at that, black pants. Black pants. Christine! Uh, welcome back, Tragedy. All right. Everything's for sale. Everything's for sale, huh? Like you. Well, I don't see that he has anything that we could purchase that's worth purchasing. Uh, you can take those. Give me your money, fool. All right. He had nothing. Don't let the door hit you on your way. Uh, let's go to the next guy. Malcolm Scully. What up? Well, no, there would be. The meat is already cooked. We kill him and cook him all in one shot. That's the, that's the beautiful thing about exploding crossbow bolts. Get a little gunpowder flavoring going on. Killed and cooked all at once. We don't have to waste the time to cook him on the fire. Just pick him up and eat him. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for, uh... Oh, you know, you can't pass this up, folks. That's, that's buckshot. That's bulletproof glass. That's all those beautiful things right there. Just lying on the ground. Saying, please take me. You need to put a little sign above it that says, please take me. Yeah, I'm scanning for other animals. Some of them, they're kind of hard to see out here in the forest. Oh, there's a rabbit! Oh, shoot! Uh, another rabbit has escaped me. That's all right. We'll find more animals. Wolves, pigs, deer, whatever we find. We'll, we'll find something. But we're really short on meat. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. My Let's Play series... I have more meat than I could ever use. And on here, man, we're running out. Quickly. We are out. Brennan! 
Van Dellen. Or Jeff. Matt Moden. Yeah, that was the uh, Pants Delivery System 2000, is what that was. You, you all wanted pants, so I just pushed the little Pants Delivery button, just like Amazon, uh... Was that a pig? Oh! Hey, Mr. Piggy. I like bacon. Yes, I do. Give me that bacon. Well, he was camouflaged. It's hard to see him. What's up, Jason? Uh, let's see. Uh, I deer hunt with exploding crossbow bolts is what I deer hunt with. I don't know what you deer hunt with, but exploding crossbow bolts is, uh, is what I use. Kill and cook meat all in one shot. I'm scanning for animals. I can't believe we've only seen a wolf, a couple rabbits, and a pig. Deer! All right, Mini Spartan had to come tell me he just got explosives and a level three workbench, so I'm back. And there's how you hunt for deer right there, folks. I told you. I told you that's how I do it. Mm-hmm. Let's get another one ready to go. We're going back. We're going... Papa's bringing home the bacon today. Coming home with some meat. Of course, we're not actually going home. We're going to the new construction, but you know what I mean. We can make a... Campfire over there and cook it up, I guess. Find a cooking pot. Yeah, you can't hunt with mini bikes on Alpha 16, though, tragedy. Uh, the mini bike does not kill anything. You come to a screeching halt on Alpha 16. I'll give you an example here real quick. Uh, this zombie that's chasing me. Let's see if we can double back and hit her. Uh, maybe not. She might be a little bit too fast. Where'd she go? Did she give up her suit? I guess she did. Yeah, they took that out on Alpha 50 or 16. I used to hunt with animals uh, for animals with my mini bike as well, but they did away with that. I'll take care, Brian. Thank you for stopping by, man. Have yourself a good evening. All right, so we're almost at the trader. Let's see if he has any engines to provide power. Otherwise, we're going to have to strip engines out of our current base once we get this one built. Oh, this is the uh, trader that we can drive like front door service. Look at that. Last time we actually drove up into the trader. Remember? We kind of got stuck. Someone had to squirt some Vaseline on me to get me out of there. Oh, well, there's a solar bank. I guess. Will he buy bones? He doesn't buy bones, does he? He buys animal fat. And he buys animal hide. I think we're getting close to that uh, 56 number we were looking for. Yeah, you'll find out when uh, Alpha 16 is released on console. You can no longer drive over zombies or animals in your mini bike or on your mini bike. You have to uh, get off and kill them. All right, let me get a little quick waypoint here. And we're going to head back to the new construction zone. I'm going to stop by a couple traders along the way. And I get back to building. That's a long way to fall there, folks. Ah! Yeah. I do. Well... That's one way to get down. Tony! Episode 75 of the series. Nice. 
Nice. Well, thank you for your support, sir. Are the stream series or the Let's Play series? Because if the... So the, the Let's Play series is only about, what, 100 hours worth of view time to get through the entire series, you know, where I'm at now. But the stream series, man, you better... You better set aside a month if you're going to binge watch that because <laughs> we did some seven hour streams in there. You know, that's a that's like 50 episodes or something of three, four, five, six, seven hour videos. My goodness, not enough time in the in the month for that. You better be watching it in time and a half or two times. And then Spartan will be talking like this the whole time everywhere we go. Hey, guys, thank you for support. i will be talking like that the whole time. You like the micro machines. Who remembers micro machines? I still have some from when I was a kid. I have a bunch of them too. I have like a hundred and something micro machines, maybe more than that. I had a little micro machine aircraft carrier with all the jets, and I had tanks and cars and trucks and I had it all. I used to love those little things. And the little guy would talk like this, talking about the micro machines all the time. Anyone remember that, or am I just getting old? Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Jumped off and shot him before he even knew I was there. Like a ninja. Like an exploding crossbow bolt ninja. I'm telling you, we're going home with meat today. No more shortage of meat. Not after this trip. Oh, the Let's Play. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, I appreciate the support on the Let's Play series. I'm enjoying that. Base is really coming along. So you have a big surprise coming up for you in about 20 episodes or so when the base starts to come together. And now we're putting details on it. I mean, I still have a long way to go on it, but uh, but it, it does. it's starting to look pretty cool. Nice. Authorus. Take care, Carlos Garcia. Carlos Garcia. Have yourself a good evening. Yep, yeah, this is a uh, random gin. What's up, Viper? How you doing this evening, man? Welcome back. We're driving to the trader. There's a buzzard. That's the feather delivery system right there, folks. Feather delivery system. Just got to time it. That's how we bird hunt on here, too, folks. Exploding crossbow bolts. We do it all. Exploding crossbow bolts. We're almost there. All right. Popping in and out. Checking, lurking, that's fine. Appreciate you hanging out up in here. While we do what we do. There he is. There's that beautiful man, Trader Joe Bob. What you got for me, Trader Joe Bob? I, I should have grabbed some health kits while I was at the base. Especially where we're at right now. Maybe he'll have some here. Take your time. I am in a rush, sir. Chainsaw yellow engine. Oh, look at that purple engine. Give me that. Give me this too. And what does he have over here? He has nothing. How about first aid? Nope. Pleasure doing business with well, it's still early in the day. We have two more traders to stop by. On the, they're on the way though to the new construction. Oh, take care, Douglas. Thank you, sir. You have yourself a good evening as well. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, so we're two traders to go. And then back to digging. And we're going to collapse that big thing that we're digging out. I hope to stream tomorrow. I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow or not. Ooh, another buzzard. Come here, Mr. Buzzard. I got something for you too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that, feather delivery system. That's 169 feathers. Feathers, meat, and everything sweet. There's a trader right there. All right. Samir! I do not know, Samir. You might want to check out the uh, official forums for that info. That bit of info. I don't check out the official forums, but about once every month or two. So I don't know. I just take it as they deal it out, you know. I'm not in a big rush for Alpha 17. Uh, I still have so much left to do on that base on the Let's Play series. Uh, we can stop the stream series and start over at any time. But the Let's Play series, ooh, I want to get that done. We, we have too much time invested into that big, magnificent base not to finish it. So I'm in no rush. Oh, I tell you what, sir, you can buy that and you can buy this and get it out of my inventory. And he does have a solar bank. We'll go ahead and buy that. And if you don't know, we're working on, we're going to be working on a structure using that solar bank. That's a first aid bandage. We'll buy it. And a piece of boiled meat. Yeah, you can't ever have enough meat, can you? First aid. He has nothing. All right, no engines. I don't think I saw an engine. Color changing micro machines. Now that's getting fancy there. I don't think I ever had those. I don't think I ever had any color changing. Not that I could recall. That might have been after uh after my time. It's feral white. Come here. Come here. Oh, I missed him. It's hard to get away from these guys with a with a broken leg. Eh, a couple bones. Them bones, them bones. Uh, I do not play on console, my friend. I haven't played on console in years. I have one, but I don't play it. It just sits there and collects dust, giant paperweight. Mini Spartan is the same way. Built him a little gaming PC for Christmas, and that's all he plays. Player Unknown, Rust. Used to play Minecraft, didn't play that anymore. Uh, Fortnite, Fortnite, I couldn't think of the name of it. He plays those kind of games. I play a little bit of Rust along with him. It's kind of cool, you know, getting in Discord with him. I mean, he's just downstairs, but um, but he's really good, you know, for his age. He's a good shot. Matter of fact, we were doing a raid uh, last night. Uh, all we had were semi-automatic rifles. And we heard some shots and some explosions. So we're like, let's counter this raid. You know, we go out there and there's a few guys... We can see them from a distance as we come up and we crouch and we ease up on them because we're talking on Discord, so it's easy to coordinate. And I was like, all right, wait till a couple guys go in. They're going to leave one outside for a lookout. We're going to take him out. And then as the other ones are coming, rushing out the door to see what's going on, we'll kill them. And sure enough, they did just that. They went inside, left the one guy on lookout on the outside. We downed him. The other two were like, wait, what What happened? They come running out. We take them out. Took all their stuff. They had assault rifles and armor and all kinds of stuff. We, uh, we ended up running out of there and teleporting back home and dropping off all our new, newly found loot. <laughs> that was a jackpot we hit. Engine. He has no engine. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, it's potty mouth. But, uh... Yeah, he's a pretty good shot. If he listens. He's kind of hard-headed sometimes. Wants to wants to go his own way. Wants me to do all the harvesting. He just wants to kill people. Makes me do all the harvesting. It's not fair. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they don't. They don't release uh, things like that until it's done. Like, Experimental has just been released. You know, that's your news. That's your update. Because uh, they don't want people heckling them. And they say, okay, we're releasing the update in January. And then January comes and no update. And, and people get angry. And, and so I understand. They used to, but they just were catching so much flack for missing dates and stuff like that they stopped doing it totally get it dude let's see if i can eat that i sure can 
I take a drink of my goldenrod tea, tasty to the last drop. And Cunningham. What up, gal? Look at that. 38 meat on that trip out. 38 meat. Uh, we're going to have to put some of this stuff in a chest up here. We have an empty chest that we can do that. Uh, that. And th well, we can put our money in our bike. Put our money where our mouth is. I'll go ahead and use that. Go ahead and use that. Put away some of this concrete. We don't need all of that. Don't need all the gas. Uh, don't need all that rebar. We'll take two stacks of that. And half the wood in there. Okay, that should get us by. That should get us by. Now let's go over here and finish this one side. We might call it after we finish this one side. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what to do. And figure out where we went in and came out and all of that. Jammy pants. What up? A wallet. A walladen. Ball. Sell your mini bike. I don't want to do that. Then I have to run everywhere with a broken leg. That's not fun. Well, I guess it could be fun, but it's going to take a long time to get anywhere. Patricia goes. What's up, Patricia? How are you, ma'am? How are you doing? I sound a little bit like Bill Clinton there when I said that. Oh, I broke it again. Is it broken or is it sprained? Oh, it's broken. So in two hours and 29 minutes, 50 seconds, that'll heal. So we're not splinting it again, folks. We are not splinting it again. Now, is this just going to happen over and over? That was one block fall off the rebar, too. That's a shame. Well, this is going to be tricky if we get a wandering horde to fall in here and always run, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to be running around in a circle. We're going to be exploding crossbow bolting. That's what we're going to be doing. miss any comments? I don't think I did. We're about to collapse this thing and watch it fall. It's going to be uh, quite the collapse. Of course, we still have a good little ways to dig down. Not not too far, but it'll take me a few minutes. Well, at least we're getting some stone and iron out of here, you know. A little bit of sand, but stone and iron will be able to make a lot of concrete. I can turn that stone into sand if I need to. Uh, we do have that place over in the desert. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten plenty of screamers. I mean, at that big red black base that I just showed you, we get like 30 screamers a day over there. You know, they're just, you can't fight them off they come so quickly. You get two and three at a time. Just over and over and over. Because we have like 10 forges going all at the same time for the most part. We don't now, but we did. And with it on always run, the screamers would run up on you from two or three directions. And then they would all spawn in hordes. And I was just, yeah. I know, that's where I got my 10 deaths from uh, earlier on when we were building that base. Thankful that I hadn't found lead. You should be, you should be praying for lead, man. So please, Lord, let let Grand Spartan find a little bit of lead. I need that lead, and you're wishing that I couldn't find it. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. We need all the lead we can get, especially if I'm gonna do bulletproof glass in this thing. You know, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a full stream of me doing nothing but mining lead. Jake! Ah, uh, Jake, this is going to be a new design. Yeah, no one really knows. It's a secret. I can't tell anyone yet. So, uh, 
you just gonna have to watch. Tune back in. That's uh it's gonna be a funnel. It's certainly gonna be a funnel design. But we're gonna change it up a little bit from the way I'd done the ones before. The funnel designs. Uh, we've done one funnel design so far on Alpha 16. Did a couple of them on 15, Alpha 15. Uh, all of those, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, there is a Grand Spartan base design playlist, and it's linked down below for you. I conveniently placed that down below so that, uh, you know, if you want to check it out, we need stone. We need a cement mixer so I can patch that with stone. You know what I mean? I'll have to build my way up there and fix that. Uh, but you click on that Grand Spartan Base Design playlist in the description down below. And you can check out all of my favorite builds. It's not all of the builds that we've done, but some that we did on the Alpha 15 Let's Play. Uh, some from the past. Some that I just built on the multiplayer server. Just to test them. This... Pete Meat! Pete Meat, what's up? <laughs> Pete Meat. Hey, is there anyone in here off the Rust server that I play on? Is there anyone here off the Rust server, the 10 times server? East, uh, East Rust gaming server. Some of you said you might stop by tonight. Yeah, I could use destroyed stone. You're right. That's a good idea. It wouldn't be as uh, as durable. Oh my goodness! DCO Tech Ch uh, Deco Chicago. I love you and thank you for your kind contribution. I tell you. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you how much I love you, man. I love you so much. I'll be thinking about you tonight. Mm. Yeah. And his name is John C. Nice. Thank you, sir, for your kind contribution to the channel, the stream. I hope that didn't get too creepy. Apologize if it did. Yeah, uh, they are probably on there destroying my base right now. They're like, okay, he's live, guys. He can't get on. But what they forget is I have mini Spartan. Mini Spartan might be a better shot than I am. So, uh, yeah. Mini Spartan right now is running guard duty on the five-time server. They get on there and goof around if they want to. But I tell you a funny story here. I, maybe I told a story before. So, uh, so one day on the 10 time server, Mini Spartan got on with a friend of his. And they wanted to raid some bases. And I was like, all right. I gave them some rockets and told them to go outside and play, right? They wreaked havoc upon the server. They were killing everyone and destroying bases, and it was just chaos. And everybody's like, they were calling themselves the Death Squad. <laughs> And they're like, they're blaming me, the server. The people on the server are like, oh, Grand Spartan, you're, you're to blame for this. You know, you're, you're affiliated with these people. And I didn't say anything that day. I waited for a couple days for the dust to clear. And, uh, you know, they see me out and about, and they're like, hey, man, what's up with that death squad, dude? It's like, dude, that's my son and his buddy. They're little kids. You all are, you know, all in an uproar. They just got little kids. <laughs> it was so great. It was beautiful. They're all concerned about this death squad. There's just a couple little kids running around. It was like I, I gave them some rockets and told them to go out and play. And, uh, and all you people are scared to death. Like not wanting to leave your base because the death squad might come by. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Um, oh, yeah, that's the place right there. So, destroyed stone. Stone, destroyed stone. That's a good idea. I appreciate that suggestion. That will at least, uh, fill a hole or two, uh, for now. Is that the only one? Is that the only hole? I think it was. 
Thank you for that suggestion. Good stuff. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking regular stone. I had to have a cement mixer to make that. What level are we at now? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, let's see what we're uh, what you're saying here. Chase, what's up? Uh, kill a frog. Or kill a fog, not kill a frog. David Taylor. Welcome back, sir. Quincy is the one that suggested the destroyed stone. Thank you, sir. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage here. Yeah, that's right. Never underestimate the kids. I mean, my son, when we're running, when Mini Spartan and I are running around on the Rust server with our AKs, he's like, ooh, guy, guy. And I'm like, where? He's like, over there, crouched behind the two trees next to the bush and the rock. And I'm like, zoomed in, squinting. I'm like, I don't see anyone. And the next thing you know, you know, he's killed a guy. <laughs> but he's got, like, eagle eye vision on that kind of stuff. And uh, reflexes are real good. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good partner. Trained him up well. He's pretty ruthless, though, I tell you what. Old Crow was on there with us one day. It was early in the morning. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, Old Crow jumps in there. You know, he's ahead on time of us, so it's in the afternoon for him. But he jumps on. He's like, well, I want to see this rating that you're talking about. And so we go out, and we destroy some bases, and, and Crow comes along. And the next thing you know... Mini Spartan has the flamethrower destroying the people's loot in their chest. He's just burning it, just burning it all to the ground. He's ruthless. Old Crow's like, man, he is ruthless. <laughs> He's hacking up people. And, uh, you know, we're just offline raiding the bases. And uh, he's like, well, if I don't want it, they can't have it. And so he's flamethrowing everything in their base. Just nothing but an empty, burnt hole of a base left behind. I guess I trained him well. Yeah. Give him some rockets and tell him to go outside and play. Bring me back some loot. That's all I ask. Yeah, well, that's why you got to team up with him. Such a tragedy. Ah, uh, Golden Rod Z. Thank you, sir. Oh, your kind contribution. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm going to give you one of these just for that. I'm going to give you one of these. You just hold on. It's coming. It's coming. About uh, 10 seconds. About 10 seconds you're going to get it. Maybe 15. But it's coming. So if you want to know about it, I'm going to let Tom tell you about it, folks. Are you looking to re-energize, rehydrate, or just relax? If you answered yes to any or all of these, then Goldenrod Tea is the drink for you. If you're parched and worn down from a long day of augering, scavenging, chopping wood, or simply smashing zombies' faces, then have yourself a tall glass of Goldenrod Tea. It will have you feeling refreshed and energized instantly. Meet Tom and listen to what he has to say after trying Goldenrod Tea. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm a novice game survivor, but I didn't have any stamina. I didn't feel like gathering resources, scavenging, or even defending my base. Then I discovered Goldenrod Tea. Wow, what a difference this made. Don't let the post-apocalypse blues keep you down. Go get yourself some Goldenrod Tea today. See, ladies and gentlemen, it really does work. Don't waste away the day sitting around your base. Go get yourself some Goldenrod Tea today. Goldenrod Tea. Tasty to the last drop. They call swelling, blurry vision, diarrhea, stinky pee, discoloration of your Wait, contact what? local physician before consuming. Grand Spartan approved. Yes, it is, folks. Grand Spartan approved. You heard it right there from Tom. Straight from Tom. So we're getting there. We're about two thirds of the way down on this thing. We're going to collapse it. Now hopefully I get to run a stream tomorrow. I plan on running a stream tomorrow and Sunday. I don't know if I'll get one tomorrow, but I'll definitely try to get one to you on Sunday and get a little bit more of this done. Hopefully in between there, in between there, hopefully in between now and then, I can uh, finish out these pits so you don't have to watch me dig them all out. I wanted to at least share digging one out with you so you can kind of see how I go about doing it. So you don't just show up and you're like, well, where did those four big holes come from? 
How did they get there? Well, you got to see it firsthand how they got here. Or at least how one of them got here. Boy, that pork tenderloin that uh, Mrs. Spartan cooked up is smelling good. I'm going to have to go have some of that after the stream. Oh, it's been broken since I got back down here, Eric. As soon as I came down off the rebar, I dropped one block and... All right, let me uh, let me catch up with your chat here. Uh, Sean Phillips, seven days to dig. That's right. Uh, Samir, yeah, you could connect them, but it'd be a lot of digging. You know, if you think this is a lot of digging, try to dig from uh, try to dig from this base all the way down to this base and see how long it takes you. <laughs> Ask Viper about that. Viper is the dwarf digger, the miner. Some kind of yelling or something in the background. I don't know what that was. Yeah, maybe it is Tom Cruise. Maybe he's uh, taking a break from his Scientology and acting to do a commercial for Goldenrod Tea. See, you didn't know. You didn't know Spartan. You didn't know Spartan had Hollywood connections. Now you know. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take care of the doctor. Go heal some patients. Go probe around on someone. Whatever it is that you do, sir. Have yourself a good evening. Anvil spear, yeah, that's right, a dwarf hole. And we're about to, uh, we're about to drop this dwarf. We're about to make this dwarf hole a little bit bigger. We're gonna get all up in there and make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> Dig around, you know. All right, I'm about tired of playing with this hole. We're about, we're about to get serious with this thing. No more playing with the hole. We're just gonna, we're just gonna jump in and and go all out. What are you all talking about in chat? Yeah, that's right. Viper is banned from tunneling. Viper will ruin your map. He will turn your map into Swiss cheese. You give him an auger and some gas, and next thing you know, you come back, can't build anywhere. Can't build anywhere because there's just tunnel everywhere, all over the place. Five by five tunnel. Going all the way across the map. Where are we at? What location? Oh, we're almost there, folks. We were almost there. Do 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 do. Your sugar rush has worn off, and now the noise of the auger is putting me to sleep. We're getting mesmerized. Happy little auger strokes in the dwarf hole. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta grit your teeth and uh, and just stick your auger straight up into the dwarf hole as far as you can stick it, and just keep going. That's what you gotta do, folks. You heard it here first. Grand Spartan YouTube Network. Yeah, we're getting there now. We're doing it three blocks at a time. This is going to take about another minute and we'll be done and we get to watch it all fall down. I 
little reload. Yeah, that's going a lot faster because I do have uh, increased capacity on the gas tank for the auger. Makes it go a little bit faster. And it also helps that I have a 600 blade and capped out mining skill. Uh, one more. Yeah, like I said, uh, in between streams, I'll finish digging the other three out. Because I don't mind this. I can put on a little bit of music or something, you know, a podcast. And uh, I can just dig and dig and dig and there's David Taylor coming in with his $25 in the coffee and live stream to start the day. To start the day? David Taylor, where are you located? David Taylor, I think that puts you over the $100 mark. You're going to get your own sign, sir, on the Grand Spartan Wall of Fame. Uh, I did update the Grand Spartan Wall of Fame. I don't think I showed you that today, but I did get over there since last stream and update everyone's donations. You have some new signs up, have some people on some different locations on the board now. And, uh, sir, you are uh, most likely, if I remember correctly, going to get your own billboard with your sign on it. I thank you for your support, sir. I thank you for your support. I don't know what I have to give you here. Yep. Yes, sir. Beautiful man, you. East Texas. Oh, he worked nights on the ambulance. Okay. All right. Well, uh, hats off to you, sir, for your, uh, your service and duty. When we get hurt, Mr. David Taylor will arrive and take care of you. All of the police officers and firemen and paramedics, all of you out there. Soldiers, tip of the old hat to you all. Well, you be safe out there, sir. Indiana Spartan in the Dwarf Hole of Doom. Oh, I dug that too deep. I went a little bit too deep in the Dwarf Hole. That's not good. Uh, let's make some more destroyed stone. How about another nine? I dug it in a little bit too deep. Oh, we're almost at the bottom, folks. Almost at the bottom. I'm wondering if it's going to crash the server when I try to collapse this thing. This is not huge, but it goes all the way up, you know, 57 blocks tall. Hmm. Where are we at now? Oh, yeah. We're almost there. They're almost at glory. Completion of the project. Go, Grand Spartan, go, go. Oh, okay, such a tragedy. See, there you're confusing me, man. I don't know who you are until you tell me. Now you tell me. You are SCP-035. Gotcha. Well, welcome back, sir. Even with the new name change, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah, I can't think of how In Too Deep goes. Can't think how that song goes. I know I know it. You know, I knew all the Genesis songs and Phil Collins and all that stuff at one point. I was never a real huge fan of it, but, uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that artifact right there. Ugh. Get rid of those, fun pimps. Fix those. Fix your game!
yeah, I'm holding down on the button tonight because, I mean, we're trying to get through this. We're trying to get through this, and normally I tap it. I'm tapping this dwarf hole tonight, folks. No, I'm not tapping it. I'm just going all in. I'm just gritting my teeth and ramming it up in there. No tapping tonight. Did I make an accidental hole back there? No? No? Thought I did. Oh, I'm reading chat and don't even know where I'm pointing. Where am I pointing? Oh, there we go. There we go. A little refuel. Check my broken leg. Has two hours and five minutes left. Boy, it's only been 29 minutes since I broke my leg. Or 25 minutes. Feels like an eternity. The Raging Eskimo! What up? Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm up to my neck in Dwarf Hole tonight. That's right. I'm, uh... I'm swimming in Dwarf Hole tonight. Honestly. If you want to find out about Dwarf Holes, all you need to do is go talk to Viper. Viper can give you the lowdown on uh, Dwarf Holing. I wonder why it is that Dwarves are always portrayed to be the Miners. Why is that? I don't know the lore. I don't know. I don't keep up with that stuff. It is very important to know. It is a very important thing to know. Like I said before, knowing is half the battle. Oh, we're just blasting through this thing now. Blasting through it. Oh, look at the... Oh, ho, ho, Draco. Your prayers have been answered, man. Game over. Yeah. Oh, I can't pick any up. Throw out that sand. Give me that lead. Like a vacuum cleaner, just sucking it up. Oh, it's the Pronto. Not Pronto. Pronto's theme song here when he enters. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little something about Pronto here. If you didn't know about Pronto, you're about to find out. Gentlemen, are you tired of working your fingers to the bone all day to survive in the apocalypse? Yeah. Are you ready to unwind and have a good time? Mm -hmm. Then come on down to the booby, booby trap. trap. Have a cold drink. Sit back and enjoy all the girls as they shake their money makers just for you. Come party all night long. $5 entry at the door. 18 to sit, 21 to sip. Featuring our very own Pronto up on the stage at 12 p.m. Joined by our special guest, Old Crow Express. Don't sit at home wondering what to do with the apocalypse blues. Let loose at the booby trap. That's right, folks. Now you know. Now you know about old Pronto. Hey, that one guy. It's that one guy, oh. You know, that, that one guy. 
What up? What up, Pronto? I hope you're doing well, man. I hope you are well. Hadn't seen you in a while. Hope work is going well for you. Yeah, Pronto's been showing me some moves on the pole, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting to get some moves about me. I'm learning from the best. Learning from the pro himself. By the original. Pronto is the original. Oh, that lead, though. That lead, though. We need it. Gotta have it. What level are we at? Ten more blocks to go, folks. Ten more blocks to go, and we are all the way down. I'm just pooping out iron like it's going out of style. Look at that, like little rabbit poop following me behind there. See that? I don't need that stuff. We get iron just mining for anything. Well, I'm almost at the end, Junkie. Uh, I'm almost at the end. I'm not worried about it. I don't need that stuff. We get that stuff anywhere. It's not like some special, you know, it's not like I'm pooping out lead or nitrate or coal or something. It's just iron. I quite like pooping it out, honestly. I think it's kind of cool. Little man pooping that stuff out in the hole. Pooping it out in the dwarf hole. Repair my auger again. Oh, take care, Paul. Take care, Paul. Have yourself a good one. Yeah, I'm glad you did too, Pronto. I'm glad you did too, sir. Glad you had a little time off to, to catch me. The Hoff! The Hoff! Like David Hasselhoff! Oh! 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 Yeah! Pronto! You crazy, beautiful man, you are. My goodness! This is Sparta! Yeah! My goodness, sir! Well, I thank you for your, uh, your very generous donation there to the channel. You, uh, you beautiful man, you. You beautiful, beautiful man. Pronto, I, uh, I'm gonna give you one of these first. And I just want you to know how much I love you, man. How much I just want to hold you in my arms all night and caress you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's my share of the tips. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm still just an amateur at the old uh, dancing thing in the booby trap. Uh, Pronto taught me everything I know. He just throws me the scraps. You know, he's he's making the real money over there. Uh, shaking that money maker, and uh, he just 
He throws me a little bit while I'm in training. Dancer in training. Very kind of you, sir. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Hey, Grand Spartan might order a pizza tonight to go along with that pork tenderloin. Might have a beer and some pizza. I don't know. I'm gonna take a sip of my tasty beverage here. I'm about talked out of a voice tonight. All oh, you crazy people. My goodness, man. Make me lose my voice. Up in here, up in here. Pronto, have you had a chance to check out, um, what's it called? Uh, Survive the Nights. Pronto, have you played Survive the Nights, man? And let me catch up with your chat. Take care, Samir. Uh, yeah, that's right, Stephen Lewis. Um, no, I can't collapse until we hit bedrock. It's like three more blocks down and we're collapsing. Just have patience, have patience. I have to tell Mini Spartan that sometimes on Rust, just to have patience. Look at all that lead. I mean, I'm gonna dig out some of that lead, folks. I can't let that go. Cause that's just gonna go away when we collapse this thing. My goodness, we're gonna we're gonna pass up on a lot of lead. I might I might dig a little hole down here so that I can uh almost a full stack already so that I can uh, retreat if this thing collapses. You know what I mean? Uh, we gotta patch that hole right there too. I didn't see that. Whoops. Um, yeah, yeah. I figured you were. I figured you were a backer on that. Uh, I was just curious if you had a chance to play it. Um, you know, heard some negative things about it, but it was something I was always really interested in since it was talked about back in what 2014 I said oh that's a game I want to get behind right there and oh my I'm pooping out lead I'm pooping out lead no give me the lead give me the lead I'm gonna get my little vacuum cleaner I don't have a vacuum cleaner sound effect maybe I need to get one of those maybe I need to get one of those Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, I dug out too deep again. Here we go. We're almost done, folks. We are almost done. Yeah, I know, man. The same here. Same here. I feel you, brother. Not enough time in the day. Not enough pronto to go around. Not enough Spartan to go around either. <laughs> what level are we at? We are at minus 54. We have three blocks left and we are at bedrock. We're gonna collapse this sucker tonight. I'm gonna watch it go bye-bye. Yeah, the only thing with uh, TNT, though, is that it's so unpredictable. Well, not unpredictable, but it just blows up such a big area. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? You know what that is, folks. That is a sound of progress right there. Oh, it's uh, Chevy Ramil. What's up, TR Gamer Ramil? What up? Welcome back, sir. Oh, 
Well, you arrived just in the right amount of time here. Because we're about to collapse this sucker. And watch it fall. I hope. I hope it falls. We might have been better off going up top and collapsing just a tiny little bit of it. You know, like a, a third of it or something. Um, instead of trying to collapse the whole thing. So what's going to happen is it's going to get stuck. Like half of it's going to get stuck and not want to fall. That's most likely what's going to happen here. I hope it doesn't, but that's probably what's going to happen. Look at all that lead, though. We got to at least get in and get some of this lead, you know, before we collapse it. That's uh, just a waste. As hard as it is to come by lead for bulletproof glass and buckshot. Well, let me nip a little bit more lead out of here and at least get a couple stacks. We're almost at two stacks now. And then we'll uh, pull the trigger on this sucker and, and watch it go bye-bye. Oh, my auger's almost broken again. I'm going to throw out some more... Well, no, we won't throw that out yet. Make sure I don't have any unnecessary holes in the wall. Did that pretty flawlessly. What, we have to replace like three or four blocks all the way down? That I accidentally nipped with the auger. Look at that lead. Look at that lead. Yummy, yummy. Get in my backpack. Now, I'm going to catch up with your chat here in just a minute, folks. You just give me a moment. I'm trying to concentrate here. Trying to concentrate. Whoops. I spoke too soon because we nipped another one right there. All right. Look at that. Look at how far down we are. Uh, lead, lead, lead. Where are you at? I want the lead, 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 lead down in my backpack. I think I'll uh, pass on the help there, Pronto. I remember what you all did with rocket launchers on Alpha 15 on the uh, multiplayer server. I appreciate the offer. Very kind of you, sir. But uh, I do believe I will pass on that offer. Close. Oh, we're real close. Real close. Uh, let's do this number here. Let's slide half of it into there. Hey, who would, you know, would have figured that the part that I want to collapse is where all the goodies are at? You know, that stinks. Uh, we'll just get a little bit more. And we'll watch it all fall down. Yeah, I think we got the big bulk of it anyway. I and mean, we got almost two full stacks, or we did get two full stacks of lead. Uh, that's enough for a decent amount of buckshot. All right, let's clean up the edges here. And I might need to give myself a place to hide. Let's reload and repair. How about that? Reload, repair, and hit it hard. Hit it early, hit it often.
Yeah, I will die if it collapses on me, but I'm gonna try to be a little smarter than that. I'm gonna make myself a little hidey hole here in a minute. How long has it been since you heard that? Have you ever heard that? A little hidey hole? Hidey hole. Now we're gonna know when it starts to fall here in a minute, because uh, it's gonna get awfully laggy. Yeah, there's not much holding it up now, folks. Not much holding it up. Mr. Who? Oh, it's starting to collapse. It's starting to collapse. Well, some of it collapsed. I don't know what it is that you were talking about there, my friend. There's officially nothing holding this thing up. But the will of God. That's all that's holding this thing. So, is it frame time? Uh, I'm getting lag. I don't know where it's collapsed. Oh, there's a collapsing over there. Oh, can I blow that out? I guess I can't. That doesn't do very good, much block damage, does it? Oh my goodness! Uh, let's make a hidey hole. Did my game freeze? Um, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Nick T. More. Talented and icy, sweeter than sweet tea. Giant hermit. Info spear. A 10 second lag spike. Either a dead server or a dead Spartan. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nah, 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 I don't know why it made me think of that song. No, I'm not going after that lead that's in there. Not going after that lead. Oh my goodness! It's gonna fall on my head until I am dead. Oh, it's gonna fall on me. Don't fall on me. Hurt me. Gotta hurt me. Eric Baudouin! What up? What up, Eric? We're watching the, uh, we're watching the giant clump of rock and dirt fall to the ground is what we're doing. That's our entertainment for this evening. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage while we watch it all fall down. Oh, don't tell me it just stopped falling. Eric, you might have brought us some bad fortune, sir. Because everything was working just fine. And Eric came in here and pushed the button to make it stop falling. Let me clear out the debris down here. And we're going to do a little frame check on it again here in just a moment. Uh, how about a frame right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Wait for it. 
There she goes. Uh, kind of in a bad spot here, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to make another hidey hole. Hidey hole. Oh, there's some of that lead you were talking about. Oh, it stopped falling again. Hmm. Um. Hello? There it goes. There it goes. Come on, baby. Fall to the ground. The whole thing. Let's watch it all fall. We've been missing you. We've been missing you, Eric. Yeah. I wonder what the ping on the server's like. Oh, it's still 51. Look at that. It's still good. Oh, I shouldn't have hit that button, though. I hit that button and everything stopped falling. Um, well, let's go to this side. And, oop, run for your life, Grand Spartan. Oh, Lick T. Sweeter than sweet tea. Oh, he's betting on my demise now. He just threw $11 at it. I thank you, sir, but that's very mean. As much as I love you. You all want to see me fail. I don't want to fail. But thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind contribution to the stream and the channel. Once again... My goodness, the Grand Spartan Wall of Fame just got a little bit bigger tonight, folks. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get that thing updated before the next stream. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. I don't know if I have time. So I'm gonna have to take a chance here and build my way up to the top. Boy, I said that with a country accent. I'm gonna have to take a chance to get to take a train to Wichita. I'm gonna have to get up here and uh, do this number. Is it gonna kill me? How about if I put a frame like right above my head? Now what is it gonna do? Can it kill me? I don't think it can kill me. I hope it can't kill me. We're about to find out. Look at that. Watch it fall. Watch it fall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crushed with a ton of love. You know it, baby. The love doctor here tonight. Oh, I hope we hit the jackpot, folks. I hope we hit the jackpot. I hope that was a sweet spot. We just stuck it in the sweet spot right there. Is this falling? Oh, maybe that. Maybe that. Maybe we didn't stick it in the sweet sweet spot. We got close. We got close. Let's get a little bit higher. We gotta find a sweet spot. I'm just a juggalo and everywhere I go. What's up, Mr. Juggalo? Juggalini. What up? I'm gonna put a frame over my head for falling debris. This is not an OSHA approved site, my friends. OSHA would not approve of what I am currently doing. Or MSHA. That's right, hold my beer. Ha ha ha. Oh, my beer. I'm about to drop this sucker to the ground. Oh, yeah. That's kind of satisfying. It's kind of satisfying to watch it do that. Money. My goodness, Area 76. Zero deaths. That's right. You are right, sir. Grand Spartan ain't going to die. When's the last time you saw the Grand Spartan die to anything? A long time. Long time. Uh-huh. Look at that. Now, if... Um, 
even if it takes out some of the rebar underneath me, it can't take it all out. You know, I'm just going to fall down to the next one below me. So I can't die. That's not even that laggy. It's not even that laggy. The ping to the server, 50. It went down. Frames per second is kind of skipping all over the place from 30 to 60, but outside of that. Oh, stopped again. Uh, can we reach over there? Oh, we can kind of reach over there. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to jump back up again. Place it on the next spot above me. You know, we need to build our way over. Let's uh, let's build a little walkway going around here. Now, this is the easiest way to collapse that I know of. If you can't get it, if the uh, physics are all goofed up, like they kind of state on this game. You just do this number right here. Step back and watch it fall. Now, if it takes out the rebar I'm on now, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've got a long fall. I'm going to take the express train to bedrock. Eric! Spartan Great Civilization Collapse, and also for the broken leg. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you beautiful French-Canadian man, you, for your kind contribution to the channel, to the stream, as always. You ah, are now shame a Wells. Spartan. Thank you. For subscribing and welcome to the stream. But thank you, Eric. Thanks to everyone tonight. You have put the Grand Spartan in pizza and beer for the remainder of the weekend. Remainder of the weekend. Oh yeah, we're we're watching this thing fall tonight, folks. It's going. It's going. Slowly, but it's going. We're gonna watch this whole thing. We're gonna have our pit. Now I'll tell you what I'll do. Tell you what I'll do for you right here. Sound like a sound like a used car salesman. I'll tell you what I'll do for you right here, right now. Uh, sometime before the next stream, I will get on here. And I will dig the other three pits out. And probably gonna change my mind by next stream and say, ah, oh, let's fill that back in. I don't think I want to go that route. No, I'll dig the other three out so you don't have to sit through me auguring. A new oh, subscriber. Merling. Myrling. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, but I'll, I'll dig the other three out, just like I'm doing this one, since it is kind of time-consuming. And, uh, and then, you know, next stream, we'll get on to the building portion of it all. They still have a little bit more augering to do, some tunnels and whatnot. But for the most part, if you've never collapsed before, uh, you're new to the game. Well, this is probably the easiest way to do it if it freezes up on you much like it did on us. And now I have to carefully back out of here. Slowly back out. Uh, let me catch back up with your chat here again. Uh, 30k subscriber costume. Maybe if we can ever hit 30k on the uh, stream here, I'd definitely get a costume of some sort. I thought about the uh, big Hawaiian guy. You know, I thought about the big Hawaiian guy at some point. Because I have the fat suit for it already. So, uh, oh, I left a piece of rebar right there. Son of a gun, Spartan. So maybe we do the Hawaiian guy next. You know, it's funny. You all are always talking about the nurse Nancy. Well, Mrs. Spartan came up here one day, not too long ago, and I was playing a game. And she's like, so are you ever going to do a Nurse Nancy costume? So, oh my goodness. Oh, that was a long fall. I told you, you could take the express trip down to Bedrock. That was it right there, folks. You can't get down any faster than that. Uh, <laughs> well, the leg was already broken, so not a big deal there. But uh, we got to build our way back up on that side. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, how can I do this without interfering? I'm at zero 
percent for food. We might need to make a little trip over to the mini bike and grab some food here real quick. You know, that's probably going to be something we need to do. Cause I'm going to start dying from uh, I'm going to start dying from hunger here in a moment. Uh, Cooper Tatchell, hello, Claudio Lima. Yeah, yeah, the Grand Spartan needs some repairs. He does, he does. From time to time, we have to patch him up. All right now is that time. There's really no need to splint my leg. You know, we're just gonna go with the broken leg. I don't see what a splint's gonna do. I have three more of these to dig. Like I said, I won't do it on this stream, but I have three more of these to go, so, uh, yeah. Man, the game's getting hungry. Oh, that's full speed with shift hill down right there, folks. That's full speed. Dragging my twisted, contorted, broken leg behind me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Eat your meat. Oh! Another 10 for a broken leg. Thank you, sir. Nurse Nancy costume, maybe. Yeah, even Mrs. Spartan said, so when are you gonna do the Nurse Nancy? Oh my goodness! That one guy coming in with the 20 right after the 10 from Eric. Oh, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's that one guy. It's that one guy. Just do it! <laughs> Yes! Yes! This is Sparta! Ah! Thank you! Thank you all for your support, your kind contributions. Oh my goodness! There's a dog horde! I can't run! I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot at the ground, I'm gonna die. Oh, you see what you made me do? I let my guard down, all you people throwing money at me. You see what you've done? You see what you've done? You are now a Spartan. Thank you for subscribing, George, and welcome to the stream. I am currently in a place that I do not know where I'm at. Uh, I have lost my first wellness in quite some time. I have no mini bike. So we are going to have to craft a new mini bike in order to get back to my old mini bike. <sighs> well, hello, Mr. Charles Bickerstaff. Daniel, Kenneth, darling, well, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's figure out what it takes to make a mini bike, folks, I think the first thing I need to do is make a chassis, and, uh, I think my hunger issue is solved, I think that's taken care of, and, uh, <clears throat> Well, we're going to need a mini bike seat. We're going to need one of those. Uh, we're going to need uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff. We need a lot of stuff. Oh! Mini Ken! Mini Ken missed it again! Mini Ken's always missing it! He's always missing it! The dog horde! You are now a Spartan. Junior Fender. He's subscribing. 
had a weak moment, but thank you. Thank you for subscribing. We haven't had a death in a hundred days or more. Pains me to suffer such a thing here live on stream. I don't even know what I need. I don't even know what I need. You got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. I need mechanical parts. All right. Well, we're going to get this thing done. We're going to get this thing done. Make some handlebars. Oh, you're right, Eric. There, there is still, see, glass half full, half empty. There is a positive thing. We have no broken leg to deal with now. Not until I start digging the next pit, right? Yeah. Yeah. You all did it. You all did it. If you hadn't been throwing dollar bills at me, you know, I'd still be alive right now and kicking and laughing and being all jovial, but... Oh! Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Oh my goodness! Logan! Logan Nick T! Logan and Nick T! I don't even have my voice anymore. I don't see it. What happened to it? Did it get taken off my soundboard? Fatality. Yep. Yep. Thank you both. Thank you both. Well, <clears throat> there's a few pieces. Uh, we need an engine. There's a 594. There's a 575 battery. What else do we need? We need wheels. I don't have any mini bike tires. Oh, oh, it's so painful. I got to go around and look for mini bike tires now. I need to keep some of those on hand, don't I? Just in case. I don't have any gas. Yeah, I have gas somewhere. There we go. Uh, well, I got to run around and find some mini bike tires. So I don't think I have any at the uh, base here currently. Well, let me take a sip of my tasty beverage and uh, soak up what just happened and think about what I did wrong. A new subscriber. DTCM Minecraft Adventures. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to hoof it across town until we can find some. Maybe I did, GW. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. We're going to have to run around until we can find some tires. No tire. How long is this going to take? You know what I mean? How many tires are we going to have to auger to get some for the mini bike? I mean, I don't even have any exploding crossbow bolts. If we get a bear horde or another dog horde, I'm going to be back in uh, the same boat. But I hope I can find some tires soon. Son of a gun. All distracted. You all are throwing shiny things at me, and I'm all distracted. Miz, Mizzy, one, two, five, eight, zero. I, I love you, and, and thank you for your kind contribution. And she brought the good luck. Look at that. We got two of those. Not one, but two. We can choose which one we want. Thank you, Missy. Thank you. Booyah, suckers. So long, suckers! Ha <laughs> ha! We're on the way back. We're on the way back, except for I don't know where I'm going. 
Hey, in case you're uh, new to the channel, I'll do a little uh, preview of this. I haven't done it in a while. Of course, I got to put another one up now. I have another one up. It's the Grand Spartan Wall of Fame. Uh, for all of those who have uh, been so generous and contributed, uh, contributed to the channel here, let's refuel these and turn them on. Might as well preview it. We, split, we spent all the time to build it. We might as well power it up every once in a while and get to enjoy it. Uh, there we go. Got all of our spotlights. Uh, some of our larger contributors here. Mr. Charles North, I just realized today, I need to fix his name, though, and bring it down like theirs. He won the bone count, but he's also donated enough that I can take his name off from up there and put him down there. I think Mr. David Taylor is somewhere in that range, too. Yes, sir, he is. So he's going to get down from off that board and his own board. Got to do that before the next stream. Uh, and I'll get that all updated. I'll look at Streamlabs tonight after the uh, stream is over. But we built this a while back uh, just so I had something to give back to all of you uh, since you so uh, kindly and generously give to me. Uh, we have 108 lights, I think it is, that go from here all the way over to the base. We put in on a stream several weeks ago. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these off and make my way back over so I can pick up my bag before it despawns or something worse. Oh! Spartan brand puppy kibble from the company that brought you goldenrod tea. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friend. Well, I guess we just need to go towards the blue bag on the ground. It's not very often that I have to uh, drive towards a blue bag, but today is one of those days you get to share in this rare moment here on the stream with me. I guess that puts the number up to 11 in 152 days. Eight of them came within like a day or two apart because we had like two bear hordes and two dog hordes hit me while I was building the last base. So I guess you can just expect more deaths because we're building another base. We don't have any defenses, no turrets, no nothing. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let me catch back up with your chat while I'm driving is the easiest way for me to catch up with your chat. Um, let's see here. Let's see what you all are saying. Ow, I'm on fire. I'm not looking where I'm going. Uh, who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Bryant Riviera or Rivera. Well, you're so cool, Brian. You're so cool, man. Uh, yeah, well, I do have the fatality. I do have that. Well, we're almost back to the bag. Hopefully the dogs have dissipated. If they're still there, it's going to be kind of tricky. We're going to have to kite them around with the bike and get them away from the stuff so I can pick it up and get my ammo back. That's when, it, that's when it's advantageous to put your ammo on your belt, you know, in case you die. You can still fight your way back to your bag. Oh, take care, Pronto. Have yourself a good evening, man. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for your uh, very generous donation, sir, as always. Everybody wave goodbye to Pronto. Give him a little shout out there in chat. It's Minikin. I know. Minikin is always just wishing bad things upon the Grand Spartan. I don't know why. I don't know whatever it did to Minikin. I was always nice to Minikin. Minikin's always wishing for that dog horde or that bear horde. I don't understand it. I don't know why Minikin's so mean to me. Well, now the question is, are the dogs still around? 
Oh, look at there, a mini bike. Oh, if I lost my bag, I'm going to be really hurt. There it is. Oh, there's a dog. Their dog's just wandering around the woods now. My goodness. I don't even know what I... What was I even coming up here for? We need like a little retreat area. A little place that I can go and get away from dogs and bears. I have to build myself a tree stand or something. I don't know. I think we we're coming over here to dump some stuff out in the storage box. I think. I don't remember now. I'm all, uh... Discombobulated, for a lack of a better term. Maybe we're just coming up to eat some meat and drink some tea. And then you all started throwing shiny things at me and I got distracted. That's I'm going to blame it on you. I'm going to blame it on you all. Well, uh, no broken leg until I fall in here again. Uh, we kind of need to finish this out tonight. I'd like to finish this out tonight, if possible. I probably should have ducked back down into the pit when the doggies arrived. How much is that doggy in the window? Roof, roof. The one with the waggly tail. All right, let's build our way on over here. And, whoop. I hear dogs dying up there. Uh-oh. We got ourselves a bad problem right there. You see that red? And it, the, the frame just fell off the side? This whole thing might fall, folks. This whole thing might fall, because I think this frame is attached to that frame. But there's nothing holding it against this wall. I might have to do some evasive maneuvers right here. I might have to jump over to this, uh, this pile of rocks that's hanging, floating magically in the air. All right, there we go. Watch it fall. Oh, yeah. Oh, it stopped. Son of a gun. Uh, well, we go to the other side now. Carefully, slowly back out. I'm going to slowly back out here. Oh! I almost fell off the side. Uh, I think right through here I can build a cross. Let's go down a couple more. <clears throat> yes, I uh, built an elevator with hatch doors like uh, over a year ago. Uh, well over a year ago. But that's... A new subscriber. Uh, Adrian Woody. Adrian Woody, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, the, uh, the hatch system has been around since like Alpha 10. But the problem back then was it was kind of unpredictable. Sometimes it would eject you way up into the sky. You know, you wouldn't just stop at the top of it. But that's been around for years. Uh, but we built one on the multiplayer server. And uh, that was not this past November, but the... No, October. Not this past October, but October 2016. And there's actually a video of it that I did about a month or two after we built it. It had been on there for a while. But yeah, we did the uh, hatch. They actually did one on the uh, Let's Play series as well. On the Alpha 15 Let's Play series. Uh, after we did one on the multiplayer server. Uh, but that thing has been around for a long time. Uh, I think it just became popular again about a year ago. But it's been out forever. It used to be very glitchy though. Come on, Eric. Don't wish bad things upon me. Wish happy things to happen to me. Good things. Fun things. Why does just a little bit of it collapse and then it stops? I don't understand it. Oh, it's still collapsing down there. Nice. 
Yeah, the snowfall. Alpha 15 Let's Play and snowfall that got no views when I did the base preview. Which, you know, I didn't have a good computer back then, so the graphics did look pretty awful. But, um, but yeah, long before that, we had one on the multiplayer server. And, uh, oh, it stopped falling again. Long before that. Ah! And my little guy went, ugh! Just took one to the face. See that? Well, this is such a pain. Such a pain in my tushy. There's another dog eating it up there. I was kind of thinking that the dogs would like follow me down into the pit, which would not be good because I don't have much of a platform to work with here to fight on, but it'd be interesting, to say the least. Oh, look at that. What, it can't attach to the uh, gravel? Is that what it is? Ooh, this could be dangerous. I think the, the only thing holding up the rebar is the rebar. Let's hope that's the only one we have to collapse. Oh, there. All right. Nice. Nice. So we can pick this back up. And we don't have much to go now. It's almost done. Get that one right there. And this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to try my best not to fall, folks. We just got the uh, cure for a broken leg. In case you didn't, in case you missed that, we, uh, we, we cured our broken leg instantly. And didn't, you know, you probably didn't know you could do that here on Seven Days to Die, but, uh, yeah, we found an instant cure for any ailment that may uh, be bothering you. Uh, in our case, was a broken leg. Uh, I blame it on shiny things. I blame it on shiny things. But it did cure our broken leg syndrome. Really? I mean, I just ate. Oh my gosh, I almost stepped onto that. Did you see that? I went to, I put it and went to step on it. Son of a gun. This is dangerous, folks. Do not try this at home, folks. Do not try this at home. There we go. Drop it. Drop that beast. <laughs> Samuel Fisher. Uh, can't attach to gravel or sand. You're right, sir. You're right. Um... Yeah, we'll see. The, the whole thing with this is I don't want them to fall into the pit. Uh, it's going to work like my uh, electroshock base. And if you don't know about that one, if you click on the Grand Spartan Base Design playlist down below, there's a link down in the description. You can check out all my base designs, but there's one called electroshock. And it was similar to this funnel system uh, and had a free fall pit going around it. That free fall pit was not a defense. It was a deterrent. And what happens is the zombies come up on it, they see there's a pit, they detect it, they path around that pit, and then uh, they will go through your funnel. And so that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, we're just doing it in a kind of a different way. I wanted a base that's sort of suspended in the air, is what I wanted to do. And uh, this is one way of doing that. We're going to have to build up and nip that off at some point. I'll do that later. I'll do that off stream. But we have... Do we have anything else or did the whole thing collapse? I think the whole thing collapsed. I think that was everything. We can go down. Nice. All right. Thought I was going to break my leg again there. If you remove rebar too fast underneath you, you will break your leg. Or sprain your ankle at least. Well, look at that, folks. Job complete, a success almost outside of a little hiccup there in the middle. I had one little, uh, one little issue, one little hiccup in the middle. Now, uh, we got to find the C. Where am I at? 
Let me see if I can look at the map and zoom in to figure out where I'm at. Okay, so we would have to go... Here, to the center, and then to the right. I think I think easier than doing that is going to be to do this. I think it's going to be easier to do this. Check out what I'm talking about here. We'll wrap it up here soon, folks. We'll wrap it up here soon. Phil Coulson. Uh, that is uh, 57 blocks deep, my friend. That is a leg breaker, if not a life ender. One of the two or both. Well, I guess... If it breaks your leg, you're not going to much care about that because you're going to be a little meat spot on the bottom. Yeah, we got three more of those to do. I don't know. You all kind of probably find it boring for me digging these pits out. What do you think? Uh, should I do the other three off stream or do we do these on stream? I mean, I'll, I was just going to do them off stream because... Ooh! <laughs> I scared of this. He thought I was going to die. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot which side the pit was on. I'm going to try to dig to that pit. Uh, okay, so it's on the uh, west side. West, west, yo. Whoa, this is a quick way to get down right here all the way to the bottom, and then you hit the space bar. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to do this number right here. And we'll get the, uh, we'll get the details done later as far as, getting it all nice and pretty and symmetrical and where a hole comes out at. Right now we just need a hole to get over there. Okay, I mean, I'll do it on stream. I know some of you probably think it's super boring watching me uh, dig a giant hole like this. Uh, but we have three more to go. Well, this is just one. It took an entire stream just to do one. And we have three more to go. But if you enjoyed it, I mean, I'll, I'll save it for then. I was just going to do it between this stream and next stream. Uh, you know, so you didn't have to suffer through that. And then we can get to the building phase. But if you, you know, if you want to see it, I'll do it. It provides content for me. I'm just kind of cleaning up the trash here, the debris. You got to clean your hole every once in a while, you know. Tonight is one of those, one of those moments. I clean the hole. Something I forgot to do. I'll click on that. Whoops. Yeah, don't forget, if you're new, um, you know, I don't really know, but I think if you click on the little bell icon, it makes you aware of when I go live. Because uh, I don't have a schedule. I don't know when I'm going to go live. I just go live. I just press the button and go sometimes, you know, so... Uh, I can't tell you that, okay, if you if you come here on this day at this time, I'll be live because I just don't know. I'd like to think I'm going to stream tomorrow, but I don't know if I will or not, especially after all you people throwing dollar bills at me tonight, have me yell and scream and get all crazy. I don't know if I'll have a voice to stream tomorrow, but uh, I definitely want to plan on streaming at least one more day this weekend. Uh, if not tomorrow, Sunday, absolutely, but maybe tomorrow and Sunday. Maybe we have a short stream tomorrow and then uh, a little longer stream on Sunday or maybe, you know, maybe long stream both days. I don't know. I was going to do a short stream tonight and then you all got all crazy up in here and I started dying and falling. And you are now Bill Coulson. Spartan. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. Bill. We got to fill this hole. Now, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I'm going to put a bottom in it. I'm going to put a floor. But I don't think we're going to do anything with the walls. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You know what would be cool? Is if we did rebar all the way up. All the way around on all four of the pits. And then painted it. How cool would that be? 
Might have to do something like that. I don't know. I was just going to leave it rock. But if we, uh, if we put rebar and upgraded it, you know, we could, uh, we could paint it and make it look real cool all the way down to the bottom. Well, that's it, folks. That's, uh, that's the big giant hole that we've been working on all stream. How long did this take us? Let's see here. Well, almost three hours with the deaths and the, and the dogs and the donations and all of that stuff. Uh, now I gotta find my way out of here. Oh, here it is. So now you see why I dug the hole in the center first and put the ladder. So we have a way, every time we dig one down, we have a way to get back up. All right, nice. Nice. Well, that took about, what, an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes or something? A lot of other things we did. We rode around to the traders and all of that stuff, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Let me jump up here. So, it uh, looks a little something like that. It's hard to see because it's dark. But, uh, we have that one, that one, and that one to go. And, uh, what a hole, what a hole. It's a long way down there, folks. That is a death trap. That is a leg breaker, a life ender. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your support. Alex Gobko with Cassett Man. Nice. All right. But uh, but we'll call it here. We made it a full three hours. My goodness. But we'll uh, we'll pick back up either tomorrow afternoon or on um, on Sunday. Don't know. Don't know. One of the two. I'll be here again. But I appreciate all your donations, all your uh, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And uh, just hanging out here this evening, chatting. Had a good time. Are we going to do it all again soon? But ladies and gentlemen, you have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. I will see you all next time. Oh.